hello guys welcome to a new series i'll be doing on the channel it's going to be called one season to glory where i basically try to win as many trophies as i can outside the top five leagues and the team i've chose this time is going to be tigres in the league mx uh, i've heard the league mx is not going to be in fifa next year together with the uh, japanese league so it is right that i chose uh, a mexican team to do with and the mexican team was tigres I don't know why, I just love their logo and they look like they have a fan team with uh, Gignac and Florian Tovan, of course, he played with Marseille and I've noticed that they do send a lot of foreign players so it should be a really interesting cream mode. But in the background, I'm currently looking at the players we have in disposal. Um, we do need a left back and a center back, we don't really have that many great players but yeah, I also did switch the formation around and played with the tactics, I found this uh, pressure on heavy touch and slow build up to be the most effective for every series I do but you never know every series is different so I'm be messing with the um, tactics and see what works for this team and we do want to make also a couple of transfers for the left back and center back position but I'm also trying to um, fully commentate on the series so um, let me guys you guys let me know if it's different or you want to go back to the old one where I basically um, commentate post commentate over the games but our first transfer is going to be um, Patrick Van Arnold from Galatasaray. Um, he's 30 years old, left back, um, fits in that Tigres profile of bringing a high profile old player. Um, I don't know if I would consider Patrick a high uh, profile, but he definitely fits in the mold. But um, right now I'm just negotiating the contract. He wants um, 35k, I think it was, or 45, but something agreed with him. I'm not sure, I think it was 45. Yeah, it should be a, a really good piece of pickup. And here's the confirmation we signed him from Galatasaray for 7.6 million, which was right on the door of his value. We do pick up the first injury of the series, it's going to be Luis Rodriguez. He's picked up a sprained ankle and will be out for the next four weeks. But here's the format for this series it's going to be um a month, maybe a month and a half, depending on. Um, the fixtures we have in this, uh, in the given month, but on this episode we'll be playing three games: the game against Santos Laguna and um, Atlas. So I will be playing those two games, and the third one I'm not sure. But the first game was this one against uh, Tijuana, and we do pick up a massive three-one win here. Nico with a brace and Gonzalez with the other goal here, as we do make our f uh, second sign of the season is going to be. Um, Victor Hugo from uh, another Turkish club. This guy is uh, Trasbon Spor. Um, I don't know the few played, but um, in the background, we do agree a contract for 35k. Two years important role should be accepting that. And the confirmation was we signed him for 12.6 million. So far, our highest transfer from um, Trasbon Sport for Hugo. And this is how our budget is looking like 17 million to spend with. Um, and this is the objective they want us to win both tapatura and clausura that should be a given with the squad we have i think we can uh, give it a good shot and this is the other objective not that it matters but they want us to get the youth academy one and the brand exposure but um this was the second game here uh, to quick sim against uh, toluca and the result of this game was another 3-1 win here this time uh Gignac, the big mac with a goal and nico gonzalez continue his great um, display of form as we get into our first game of the episode is going to be against um, Santos Laguna I think it's called and Gignac there featured in um, as we look to start off really strong here in this game a great header from Gignac hitting the the frame of the goal there almost going in and giving us the first goal of the game here but not for us this time as Santos Laguna started off decent as well getting some Good chances here. One of them was this chance in the 20th minute here. Van Arnold looking to defend here, but unfortunately the tackle was just miss, missed, and they do get the ball back here as Suarez um, gets to his striker. And this time the goal was called offside there, and we that we kept our guard down there. I think we should have been a little bit more awake and not consider chances like that. But we'll get another good chance here. Nico Gonzalez taking a good shot, which was um, saved by the goalkeeper of Santos and the rebound was finished by um, Soltero on the left wing here who's been having a great game here so far as we do get another good chance here and this time we do play in the back of the net Florian Tovan getting uh, his first goal of the season they're opening his account as he gives us a nice lead against Santos Laguna and we do immediately goal, get a goal here courtesy of um, Andre Gignac the Big Mac um, shout out to uh, what's his name 
I forgot his name. I think uh, Gabriel Games. Yeah, that man has been ghosting so far. But yeah, he was the one that um, came out with the phrase Kinyak the Big Mac. But it is true, man. Um, he's been one of the most important players for Tigres, I think, in the last six years. So it uh, makes sense to give him the captain here. But we do score goals for fun in this game. We'll see here. Um, the team is actually really good, better than I thought. But another good chance there this time was saved by the goalkeeper here as we get a corner out of this chance here Nico um, looking to take a finesse shot from outside the box but it was saved this time by Acevedo a goalkeeper I have stood listed I don't know if we gonna go with Guzman but since he's a one season only cream I think uh, I bet I should keep him um, um, he's been really good in this game and making some decent saves here as we get another good chance here and talk about this goal by Nico Gonzalez I think this has to be easily goal of the season here I don't think Anything is going to top this goal from Nico Gonzalez there, and that was absolutely hit. Beautifully um, constructed goal there from us at the box there. And we we'll take a look at the replay here. The fans absolutely going nuts here, and it was a nicely hit shot here. As Nico Gonzalez takes one shot, buries in the top corner. Azevedo can't do anything about it, and we do lead 4 0 here in the 64th minute. Santos do get a good chance here. Great defending from us to deny them the opportunity as we look to get one more goal here to settle the game here and Vigon here off the bench takes a nice pass to Ocampos I think which was saved by Acevedo but that's how the game is going to end we do pick up massive three points against Laguna here we go the next game is going to be a quick sim against Buebla who currently sit in second place so um, we do have some tired legs but um, I should be confident with this team going into this game against Puebla it was a quick sim and the scoreline was a 2-1 win here um, they do miss the penalty there in the 46th minute but Gignac and Patrick Van Arnold do score the goals here as we go into a second played game with the episode is going to be against Quetaro I think um, I'm not sure how to say their name but uh, we start off really promising in this game here getting an absolute bullet of a header by Nico Gonzalez this guy is already showing me that he should be the top dog in this team here also I do need to change the um the numbers in this team I don't know I'm just, uh, uh, I just like having the correct numbers for the right players um I don't want to see a goalkeeper having number 10 or yeah it just it just pissed me off sometimes but here they come again Quitaro getting the first good chance at the game here on target but um Nico Guzman they're saving I think his name is Guz Noel Guzman not Nico but he does make that uh, the low uh, save there as we come here again on the attack looking to attack and Nico Gonzalez with a beautiful finesse shot at, which was um, just going wide of the post here but we do come here again on the attack here Gignac um, holding up the ball really nicely playing the target man role that's fine himself inside the box there and the shot was saved by the goalkeeper but I do gotta give credit to Kretor they defended really well up till uh, until up to this point here as they come here again on the attack Romagnoli I'm not sure if that's the real Romagnoli but they do take a great shot there which was saved by um, Guzman here as they come here again on the attack here Hernandez holding out the ball really nicely that's fine his um, teammate who played the ball really nicely there to one two between them and they do get equalized here in the 38th minute I'm mean, nothing you can do about it um, I saw the goal come in as soon as I just saw them construct a really nice passing play so nothing you can do about it but um, Kitaro played really good but they do consider a terrible howler there by the goalkeeper and just take a look at that I don't know why he's trying to hit the ball from that close but in all fairness Florian Tovan will pick up the loose ball and he does slots in the back line to make it 2-1 right before halftime and, and we had a mixed bag first um, half but we look to start off really strong in the second half and nice pass and play from us to find the back line and Gignac the big Mac does make it 3-1 here doing his iconic celebration there the Hypotenuse, I think it's called hypotenuse. Pff, I just switched to like the math formula. Um, it's not that one. I don't know why I said that to be honest. But they do get a goal back here in the 54th minute, and I just can't defend in this game to be honest. And Quitario makes it 3-2 there, and they come here again after that goal with a little bit of confidence to back the equalizer here and great defending from us to deny them the goal here as. And to be honest, their pressing was a little bit overwhelming, but they do come here again. Um, great tackle from um, Rodriguez. Again, nothing you can do about it, and we do uh, make the save there by Noel Guzman as we come here again on the attack in the 78th minute. 
Florian Tovan there, nice passing play from Mas to find Sotadelo in the middle to Florian Tovan to pick up his brace. Could be a hat trick, I'm not sure. It is a brace, definitely. And the 26 uh, does make it 4 2 here. Absolute goal fist in this game, and that's what you expect from the top attacking team in the league here. But we'll get one more chance here. Um, Quinones off the bench here yeah, takes a beautiful shot there, which was saved by the goalkeeper as they come here again on the attack. We thought it with a beautiful cross that the header was saved by Noel Guzman there. Great defending from us to deny them what should have been a goal. But we come here again on the attack and this time Gignac in front of the goal looking to get the fifth. But it was defended really well by the um, defenders and the goalkeeper. But I don't know, this goalkeeper was probably smoking or something as you can see. It's another howler here. This time Nico Gonzalez will take full advantage and make it 5-2 in aggregate to score a late goal and secure a big win against... Uh, we told her there, but we do sell Gonzalez. He's off to Independiente for six million as well. After the sale of Gonzalez, we do manage to go in for Valencia, the backup striker, the 31 year old from Fernabache, as we definitely need a new attack in the front option. Uh, we're thin on players, but you will see a pattern in this uh, series so far. We do tend to sign players from the Turkish Super League, but yeah, that's the, um, one of the only leagues we can sign players from. I don't know if it's some sort of uh, glitch or it just doesn't allow us to sign any player outside the uh, certain leagues um even for crying out loud the mls we cannot sign a player from it says this player is not willing to relocate so that's a bit of a bummer we do make the sign for valencia for about five million i think he will fit in the team leading nicely with the pace he has and coming off the bench to kill the games against the big sides like globe america um, you do need that little bit of push up front but this game against the Mazatlan FC will be quick sim as I just recently found out they were established in 2020 but regardless we do pick up a massive 4-1 win here. Nico Gonzalez with the hat trick and the other goal scored by um, Andre Pierre Gignac the Big Mac as we get into the last played game at the episode uh, at home I did forget to change the stadium name but this is how we line up a really strong lineup from us the usual one but Atlas here um, started really promising in this game. They're getting a first good chance, but talk about that save from Noel Guzman. They're keeping us in the game. Almost what you call a heroic save there, but glad to have him as a number one in between the sticks. But we do test him here. I'm um, taking a shot from out outside the box by Sebastian Cordova there. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure he played for Club America. Um, correct me if I'm not, but... I used to see him in the Club America kit for some reason. I'm mistaking him with someone else. It could be Linus, but we do get the first goal of the game here. Absolute hit from Soltedo there near post, and goalkeeper can't do anything about it. And we do continue our attack and streak here, getting absolute goals here. I think we have scored more than 15 goals in the first four games. Um, I'm not sure, but it's something along the lines like that. But yeah, really attacking display, great attacking display from us. But Atlas do get a goal back here. Nothing you can do about it in the 53rd minute. Um, nice passing play from them. And hopefully next week, for, for crying out loud, the defending should be fixed. I just cannot defend. Um, it's not a me thing. It's just um, everyone in next gen just knows it when you just cannot defend the AI. It's probably smoking or something. But in the 72nd minute, we do have another good chance, which was... Um, overhit the pass by Sebastian Cordova and in the 85th minute we had another good chance which was um, deflected which um, fortunately went out for a goal kick and this was the last chance we had in the 90th minute and the substitute Valencia should have put that in the back line to give us a well deserved win but nothing you can do about it we just had to settle for a draw against Atlas but Going into the transfer deadline day, we haven't really spent um, that much pennies. Uh, I think we have spent 26 million given the budget we had, but um, you'll see 26 million and profit is 6 million through the sale of Gonzalez. But this is the top transfer around the world. It's going to be Jules Kunda to Juventus for 106 million. And um, this signing Nico Zaniolo to Atletico Madrid for 85 million. Atletico Club, I meant to say. I don't know how they have that kind of money, but. You never know the AI these days, but the signing, our top sign is going to be Victor Hugo for 12.6 million, Patrick for 7.6 million, Valencia for 5 million, and also sold Gonzalez for 6.1 million there. Great transfers from us, and we'll see how that translates on the pitch there. So far, we had a promising episode, I gotta say, but for the player at the episode, this one is an easy one for me. It's going to be Nico Lopez uh, is going to pick up the first player at the episode. He had a hat trick in one game for crying out loud. But if you made it this fun to the episode, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. In the meantime, take care. Peace.